Hello and welcome to my first screencast ever. This is going to be a Haskell screencast series focused on tools and uh, libraries for Haskell development. So uh, I'm going to start with a fast paced uh, intro uh, to starting development with Haskell. I'm going to show off uh, the e some Emacs features and the GHC compiler. So if you search for GHC in Google, you'll find the Glasgow Haskell compiler. Just download the latest release and install it to your computer. When the compiler is downloaded and installed, you can now use the GHC command, which, which uh, takes a f some files that you want to compile, file.hs and dash o, you can name the output, like uh, main.exe. Or you can use the ghci command, which opens up a REPL where you can write Haskell code 2 plus 2 or 2 divided by 2 which is 1 or I can do a function add h and b add 1 and 2 so for an editor for Haskell I will recommend the GNU Emacs editor just google for Emacs and go to this obtain section and there's a link to the FTP archive and if you're using Windows, like I am, then you go to the Windows subdirectory and you download uh, the Emacs 23 bin zip. And just extract it somewhere, you don't need to install it. So if you Google Haskell mode for Emacs, you will get uh, a search result, which takes you to the Haskell wiki, where here's a link for the download file, and below here is uh, some instructions how to hook it up and uh, how to use it. So when everything is hooked up you can open a file in Emacs open screencast.hs and I'm gonna add a constant and if I press ctrl c ctrl l it will open a REPL and evaluate. I can test it name and you see it's Patrick what and I can add a bit a little function and it works too so and what's really great with this uh, tool is that I, I can if I do a second file call it test.hs and say model test where test can hello from another file and I save this and go back to screencast and import it test and when I compile this now you see it, that it uh, compiles both files from my import so I can now access this test test from another file so this was the first screencast in the Haskell screencast series if you had any, any requests or tips or tricks, just post in the comments and uh, the next screencast will be out soon.